Tonight I'd like to show you the middle section of Schumann's dedication, Widmum. Uh, it's transcribed by Franz Liszt, so it's not easy. <laughs> but um, it's a song, so it has to, you have to be able to voice it. Uh, the, the melodic line has to be like that of a singer. And so it has to breathe at the ends of phrases. It can't just plow through. And it's a matter of keeping the inner voices under, having a little support from the bass, and then hearing that melodic line, and then doing something with the melodic line, even if it's taking more time and stretching so that it breathes and sounds human. There are words that are written on there for, uh, for this section because Schumann took it from a poem called Dedication. And it's, uh, Thou art my rest, my peace, my protecting. Thou art from heaven, my life directing. So it's, it's all his love for Clara Schumann uh, that he's uh, putting out here through his beautiful melodic line. So I'll just show you a little bit of this to give you an idea what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I have to relax to begin with because if I'm stiff, I'm going to force the tone and then it's going to be ugly. So, and then I have to be able to relax across the hand, left and right, so that the impact of producing that tender sound still sings but doesn't sound forced. So at least on the way up, gives you some leverage to make the wave. And then So you see you can't go It's got a one section of the piece which is really virtuosic and and wild it even has triple fortes in it but um, I can't talk because of my hay fever but I'm just trying to show you the idea and so here it says crescendo accelerando but you can't suddenly get out of control it has to still be within control if you think of one and like swaying so one and so if you get that sway to it, it holds it from rushing. One, so that's why it's, uh, that'll be a, a, for another, <laughs> another time when we tackle that, that part, but I wanted to just introduce you to it because while it's very, very difficult, the piece, the piece is written in three half time. And so the timing is very confusing in that section uh, until you simplify it to the three halves. And once you do that and you feel a sway to each of those halves, then you hear the melodic line fitting within that. <laughs> Two. So if you can get the and in there as another sway, one, two, and that's three. You see the melody is up here, so you have to voice that. And then you're, really, you're, you're turning your hand like that and bringing out that middle C up to the thumb. You can't be.
makes all the difference when you voice it. Uh, and the fingers have to be steel, and you have to have the snap to the finger, but the limpid wrist, and just balance the amount you want, but take, give the energy to the wire that you want to sing, and hear it within the line that you're singing inside of you. Anyway, I hope that gives you some ideas and uh, an incentive to want to start learning the notes of this piece in the middle section. It's really quite beautiful and it's slow. So is the middle part it's not that hard just to keep the triplets going. And then the two against three, that's very important when it does, when it does this. It's one. Now it's not difficult. Not, you see, that's your third half. So it's, it's full of two against threes in that page. So once you've accomplished that, the rest of that part, other than the voicing and the making it sing and having it say something, it's not that hard. <laughs> anyway, I hope it entices you to, to want to learn it and uh, have fun with it. Have a good night. Bye-bye.